So let's first show you what the problem is we're talking about. I'll switch on this system. I have a bootable medium in it, in this case a USB drive. We'll select that one. This is normal. And watch this light. You see it's turning off. The system loads. Now we are waiting. And you see what's happening here. The light never turns on again. The mouse doesn't work. Nothing at all. Keyboard doesn't work. And you're stuck installing Windows. Now we're talking about how to solve this problem. After several weeks of searching I ran into this Windows install no mouse or keyboard. Search that site which is from Tom's Hardware and after reading a lot of crap and discussions and so what I ran into this somebody called Dalyasen or something like that and he pointed out that there was some tool from Intel that could solve this problem What you need is a USB stick and an ISO, ISO file. You can create that file if you want from your bootable Windows 7 disk or download it from Microsoft. What you also need is the Windows USB DVD download tool. If you search that on the internet, you will go into the site of Microsoft. They will give you the description of the tool and they will link you to the site of Codeplex where you can download this tool. It is intended to make a bootable USB from your ISO file. After that you will search on the internet for the Windows 7 USB 3.0 creator utility. You will go into the Intel site and download this utility. And then we start up the Windows USB to DVD download tool the one you downloaded from Codeplex. Once that's done you look for the source file that you are going to use and that source file is an ISO file. So we go to my software and everything where Windows is and then we have all the Windows versions here and we have, for instance, the 64-bit uh, Dutch Windows 7 Pro file. You see, it's an ISO file. We have that there, and then we say next. And we say, yes, you need to make a, U a bootable USB device. And it says, yes, I have one here. 
because we plugged it into the system of course and then we say begin copying uh, do you want to erase this device yes we want you know you lose everything it's uh, that's on there yes and there we go This will take a while of course, so we will show you the first part and the last part. So finally it's done, everything was on the USB stick and if you would boot this stick it would have the same problem as we described in the beginning. Now we're going to patch the stick with the utility from Intel. So we'll close this application and we'll go to I'll put it in your site to um, the program you downloaded from Intel and it's in a zip you unzip it and in the folder you then create you will find uh, this the installer creator dot x this is what you need the rest is not of any importance and a uh, few of the other things I put in there myself. So here we have the installer, you right click it and you say run as administrator, it's very important. Also you have to run it from a hard disk on your computer or whatever but not from the USB stick or any other one. There we go. This is what you then see. They want you to point to the USB drive. That's here. You'll find it. It's the removable disk G. You see that the boots there, the FE, everything, the sources. And you say OK. And then you say create image. That's yeah. It tests the system. It says I find three images. It's mounting the first one and then it will go on. This takes according to the PDF that's in the zip about fifteen minutes, but um, actual time is uh, at least let's say 45 minutes or an hour. After some time you'll see unmounting and committing the install Vim image number one. It has three, so after that it will go to number two and number three and then finishing.
and in the end, as you see, it's the update that's finished. The whole thing is patched and it should work now. I'm going to show you. So now you're going to test this. You go to the boot menu. You will select the USB stick that we made. See, this is the standard procedure again. Starting Windows. The light went off again of the keyboard, but now it's coming back. Here it is again. And the mouse is there. As you can see, we have a keyboard that's working. And we can go on with the installation procedure. No problem anymore. Thank you.